Okay guys, so I'm here again. So this is the second part tutorial for the mail merge. <clears throat> and what we're going to do here, um, since um, most of the students now don't have MS Word, so we're going to use the um, Google Docs for the mail merge. Okay, so again, this is our A for um, the online tutorial. So I'll go ahead and uh, get into it. Okay, so I'll open a browser. <clears throat> So you have the Google Chrome. <clears throat> I'm just going to type in um, docs.google.com. All right, and then uh, click enter. <clears throat> and now let's open a blank document for that. Click the blank one. <clears throat> okay, so after you have the blank document, the next um, step is Again, the first step is you open a blank uh, Google Docs document and then you have to rename it for the file name and let's have it uh, mail merge, not merge. <laughs> okay, mail merge. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see the menu, the, um, here are the menus of the Google Docs and you don't see <clears throat> mail merge option here. Actually, the mail merge part is on the add-ons. So you click add-ons. And then uh, what you're going to do here is you um, get add-on since you don't have mail merge yet. So click the get add-ons. <clears throat> and let's wait for it to load up. All right. And then you type in mail merge. There. So as you can see, we have the second part here, <clears throat> mail merge. So click the mail merge. And then it's here. So um, you're going to click that mail merge and then um, install that in your Google Docs. Continue and there will be a permission from your account. So you choose the email address that you're going to use. And then you have to allow that. Click allow. Okay. Okay, now it's loading. So let's just wait for it to load and then done. And you close this now. So it's already on your add-ons. So now you, we're going to check that if it's already there. So we have the mail merge here. All right, so ready to start. So uh, when you click the mail merge, it's, it gives us uh, a lot of options. So we have start, mail, mail merge to lab labels, envelopes, SMTP settings, license about help. So we're going to click the start. Click start. And it's working. Says so you're working. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, let's wait for a while. It's loading right here. And as you can see, it gives us the template already. So here, what you're going to do is just is just you're going to um, change this to the letters that you already created. Okay, so you already have the template. So what you need to do is to change it to the letters that you initially created. Okay, and then after that, uh, you're going to um, go here on the mail merge um, settings. So we have the open a spreadsheet, um, create uh, sheets. And then you can also, you're going to use this to supply the information let, later on. And then um, it says here, free trial, you have 30 days per rows, but we're not going to consume uh, 30 um, rows. And we can uh, only use it once. <clears throat> and then uh, it says here, uh, merge to test email, emails, gmails, draft folder, letters, and then merge. Okay, now next um, step is we're going to create a sheets for our database so click that and it will uh, direct you to the sheets the template so here we're going to put in the information or the list or data file of the individual um, clients or recipients so we're just going to edit this one um, depending on the information that you already have so for now what i will do here um i'll change some information here on the rows like um cc i'm gonna make this as a company name because i don't need the cc company name and then the bcc i'll make it as an address oops okay schedule uh, let's put it put that as it is 
and I'll, I'll add another two so that we'll have five so let's put in say Robert um, Lee and then uh, let's say my name Ariel um, De La Cruz okay just to make up names oh, sorry it should be in the last name in the country let's have it Philippines and then just copy paste that with the other so drag it down the email just make an email so rli at gmail.com <clears throat> and then we have ad at gmail.com and then for the company name i'll erase this one so i'll create a, a company name here so abc company pretend that one two three company <clears throat> HIJ company automation company what else uh, XYZ company or incorporated uh, let's make it a different one INC uh, let's complete that incorporated oops spelling okay now we already have company now let's put in the address so I'm gonna put here the address so let's say uh, street number so one two three Macau Street and then barangay one two three Malate Manila all right now we have the first address so you can think of another address depending on the uh, data that you already have so for now I'm just copy paste that but definitely you have you will have a different address based on the um, information that you prepared and then for the schedule I'm gonna use the same schedule and then uh, let's just erase this for the merge part now uh, we have the five individual information of the clients or the customers so let's go back to our document and let's refresh this so it will be applied okay so let's see if it's already there yep as you can see here the first name last name country email company name address schedule in merge so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the markings so let's put in the markings right here so it should be in capital letter so last name and then first name and let's have the company name oops oops company name and then the address and let's put in the country and what else email okay let's put in the email and then last one is the schedule schedule all right so these are most probably the information that we need and you can also uh, make it uh, bold for the markings to be um, more clear and easily identified now next um, step is that you're going to um, supply the information here so we are going to highlight one by one and also supply it one by one so last name so click here last name and then click add all right so in, in the MS Word it uh, actually uh, gives you the um, angle bracket on the side but here we have the asterisk in um, some kind of uh, a straight line uh, vertical line now let's have the first name first name and then I'm um, at there it's already applied let's move on to the company name and then add insert merge field and then address insert merge field and then the country highlight insert merge field and let's have the email insert merge field and the schedule insert merge field let's also have the title here uh, since we don't have the title we're just going to erase that and we're going to change that to mr mr or 
miss and then for the last name let's put in here the last name last name and then insert there you have it so it's already applied everything um, all the information that we need here so it's ready to merge so that is it for inserting the information now uh, it says here um, test email so you can uh, try this first to make sure that your mail merge is actually working so click that first test email and then uh, you're going to click merge and this is the email that you wanted to check if uh, you already have it on your email so click OK okay close so says here test email successfully sent to your email so close that you got your email so gmail.com and then uh, let's check so it says here mail merge there you have it so you already have Andrew ABC company blah 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 so hers I got this okay so this is a sample email all right now since it's already um, it actually sent correctly and uh, you're able to merge it properly now let's try to merge the letters so we're going to merge that click uh, highlight letters here click click merge oh my god my voice all right and then uh, it says here you have five letters to merge uh, do you want to continue and then click yes let's just wait start merging almost that okay successfully uh, merged five rows your merge letter are saved all right so what you're going to do now you close this you go to your drive so drive.google.com and I just check that on your drive you already have the merge uh, document so yep you have it here so mer uh, mail merge and then uh, you just click that to see how many pages you have so it says here merge October 13 and the date and the time no, it's a different time though so we have the first page and then the second you have the third page the fourth and the last one so it means you're able to uh, merge it properly so you have the five pages now for the letters so what you're going to do guys you have to click file download as an um, ms word or a pdf and then you're ready to submit that to your teacher for um the final output of your merge or mail merge rather okay so i guess that is it so if you don't have ms word it's not a problem so you have a lot of options to do so you can have this um google docs to create your mail merge okay so i guess that's it so i should see you on the next tutorial so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more um, updated videos thank you